How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews back with a little bit of an unboxing. From who, you may ask? It's from Othello, our friend Othello from Florida, whose name is actually Carson. Uh, he sends me off beer mails every now and then. This is one of them. It seems like uh, about every six months or so now, and that does not suck, at least for this guy right here. Let's crack in this sucker, see what he's got. Um, usually kind of do these with a little beer and do a couple reviews, but I'm, you know, midweek early beer, beer mail, don't really do beer reviews in the weekend anymore. So going into this relatively sober, completely sober. That's how it works. I actually didn't even want to do an unboxing. That's how rough my life is. I kind of sprained my ankle the other day. So hobbling around like a, like a goofball. So we have a note ski. Oh yeah, buddy. Let's 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 dive into the note first. This is not a note. I don't know if you can see. This is a uh, novella, apparently. So here we go. Jesus Christ! You're gonna make me read all this, Matt. Read after opening if you don't want spoilers. Also, kudos to you if you can manage to read all of this on camera. I got carried away, but you'll see why. Okay, we'll read that when we're done, uh, so we don't have any spoilers. Da, 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 da. It is definitely carried away. Nice sweet four pack right there. Oh, give it to me, baby. Another four pack of something right there. Oh, and another little four pack of something right there. Ah, another tube crowler banger. I can already tell who that's from already. That would be your Reeve Brewing um, that we uh, talked about not too long ago in a couple beer reviews. So let's dive into those first. So we got a bunch of cans here. I don't think we have any kind of bottles. Oh, there might be a, yeah, there's a bottle in there. Anyway, off camera. Let's dive into this sucker. Um, should I just brute force myself through all this shit? Let's see what's what. Let's see if we can get through this without puncturing any cans. I think a, I think I could, uh, ooh. I know my microphone hates that sound, so hopefully it's not going too crazy in there. And this is taped shut. Let's see if we can get through this sucker here. Like I said, these two crawlers are from that Reeve Brewing, I believe. Yes. Rev. Reeve. I call it Reeve because he called it Reeve. Now I can't stop from doing that, so I'm pronouncing it the wrong shit. Um, and this is your Silly Rabbit on Vanilla. It's a double orange lemon raspberry sour eel. Uh, Rev Brewing. And that be that. The stuff he sent me last was from their Tiki Wiki, which is one of the better kind of week names or kind of weekly events I've seen there from Atlantic Beach, Florida. So you're talking about a one of those kind of um, pastry Berliner kind of sour beers over here. And then over here we have Silly Rabbit on Tricks. It's the orange, lemon, raspberry, sour ale, Asian vanilla, and Tricks cereal. So much the same beer. They actually look like the same base. Um, drink me, cold, drink fresh. Another kind of theme beer, seems like. Cereal base jams. Yeah. Okay. So we got the Silly Rabbit on Vanilla. So we have the Silly Rabbit on Tricks. Silly Rabbit on Vanilla. So there you go. Sometimes it takes me a minute to figure out what the hell's going on. So what else is next? Let's dive into this one here. Um, boom, 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 boom. The smart thing would be to open these like a normal human being, but what fun would that be as a beer mail? The only thing that really kind of freaks me out is my microphone, like I said. If it goes off a little bit too high, it kind of makes this weird clicking, buzzing sound, so... Oh, it's so hard. Anyway, let's just, uh, actually I can't do that. I was going to pull them out of the top, but this one's actually connected to, a, like, a four-pack holder. Okay. So, we're halfway home. And, okay, a bunch of brewery. Oh, Black Project. Okay. Look at him. Throwing some... On some new school heat. I don't know if that's like a distro thing. I assume. Oh, he must. What did he go to? Oh, he's gonna tell me in the notes. But this seems like a lot of a Colorado thing. Maybe with the GABF or something like that. And throw that over there. First up, we have Weldworks Imperial Milk Stout, Starry Night, Milk Sugar, Hazelnut, Toasted Coconut, and Milk Chocolate. Absolutely bonkers. Cool label. I really do dig that. I've liked what I've had from Weldworks. And uh, that'd be that. I mean, it's just your kind of non-barrel-aged pastry stout. Just about a month old. Just under their month old. Black Project Spontaneous and Wild Ales. I have never had... Well, that's not true. I've had a couple Black Project beers in like a beer uh, shares, like beer line, stuff like that. But I've never actually sat down with one myself. It's a Fruit Punch Sour Wheat. The fruit Punch Sour Wheat sounds like their version of kind of that smaller kind of fruited Berliner. 
And I always dug their labeling. Just, you know, it's got the paper plane on there. Done and done. Uh, what do we have here? We have Truth. Um, or True Brewing. I like to call it Truth, but it's actually True Brewing. We get mild distribution of True stuff. Very limited. It's like drips and drabs. I believe a lot of it comes from like Philly Beer Week and stuff like that. And it's like, a, it's a dry heat. It's a mixed culture ale brewed with sing, Singa? Singa? Mo? And, burps. Almost burped. And Dry Hop Galaxy. And brewed collaboration Arizona Wilderness. So that's actually just at a Arizona Wilderness Tap Takeover when I went up to Buffalo for the um, Shelton Brothers Festival. And that's a really cool label there. You know, black label. Tight. Kind of white and gold lettering. And a cool little logo in the background. Done and done. Last but not least. A little hometown cooking from Carson. And this is in a galaxy really close. Really, really close by um from southern swells it's a seven percent alcohol by volume a bright india palo driven by generous and dry hops of galaxy and citra it's safe to say the force is strong with this one yeah yeah, yeah. um the uh labels have been subtly evolving when it comes to the southern swells and i kind of like what they're doing with these nowadays it's not that much different just something about them kind of dig them a little bit more so let's dive into Round number two over here. Oh, these are all bottles, actually. Okay, fair enough. Um, is this going to be just a big whole box of Rev and a bunch of their kind of Mickey-styled bottlings? I do not know. We'll see what's what. Oh, well, what do we have here? Oh, there's like some crazy, like, spirals going on down in here. I don't have to worry about puncturing anything, so I don't know why I'm being nice to these goddamn things. Definitely some Reeve in here. Rev. Reef. I'm never going to say it right, because that's how I roll. First off, oh, it's got to be all these guys. Um, Reeve, it's just uh, down the rabbit hole again. This is uh, somebody is one double stout birthday stout, and these awesome kind of tall boy Mickey, um, Mickey, uh, what are, Mickey grenade style bottles that I just love so much. Uh, yeah, it's a double vanilla birthday stout. That's all it really has on it. Um, we'll go over the notes from Carson. Next up, we have... I, this is probably everyone in this variant release down the rabbit hole. This is a barrel-aged volume 9 imperial style aged on vanilla bean and cinnamon. Uh, so what I'm assuming is you have the double vanilla version of the base here. You have the barrel-aged version um, with vanilla and cinnamon. You then have the double chocolate version over here. And then last but not least, you have the barrel aged ver version volume 8. This is volume 9. This is Imperial uh, Stout Age on Vanilla Bean and Coffee. So I get the coffee jammer this time. I think last time he kind of omitted the coffee one from me. Everybody knows the coffee ones are the best. I'm living the dream. You know what I mean. Um, so yeah. Carson's killing it. Yeah, not too long ago. It was only a couple months ago. A month, month and a half ago. Two months ago, he sent me off my first stuff from Reeve. And I really enjoyed what he had. Um, their barrel aged stuff was really fun to do. Uh, their sour stuff was okay. It didn't really blow me away. But he even said they were kind of hit and miss there when it comes to that stuff. So uh, we'll see what's what. And uh, we got some more Wellbrooks. I know that for sure. <laughs> Trying not to puncture a can. I should really just puncture a can for fun and just chug a beer. Live. And an unboxing. And by live, I mean taped. Because I'm not recording this. Well, it's recorded live, but you know what I mean. Anyway, what do we have here? We have a little bit of Weldworks again. Uh, this is a Sultan. Sultana? DDH? Uh, juicy Bits. Sultana hope, hops. I've never heard of that before. So this is brewed with mos uh, Citro Mosaic and Eldorado hops, double dry hops, Sultana hops. Never heard of those before. I've had the uh, Juicy Bits before, but that is new to me as far as hop varietal goes. Um, we have here, this is um, Itsy Bits. Oh yeah, buddy, I already know what's going on. So you have uh, Juicy Bits over here. What is this? Six and change? Seven and change? Come on, give it to me. 6.7%. This one... 5.4. Oh, up my alley. Um, hazy IPA with a Citra Mosaic and Eldorado hops. Citra Mosaic. This one is Citra Mosaic and Eldorado. So this is the dry hopped, actually dry hopped version, I assume, of Juicy Bits, the base. This is the scaled down version of Juicy Bits. Uh, Weldworks out the wazoo. Um, let's see. This is their Nutty Bar Stout. I've reviewed this, actually. I've reviewed this, I believe, a uh, 
I'm 99% sure I reviewed this as a mystery beer, but we'll try to do a proper one. Um, not that the mystery beers aren't proper, but the one part about mystery beers that kind of irk me is that the brewers never really know that I did a mystery beer because I don't want to put put their name in it. I don't want to tag them or anything like that because then that kind of ruins the reveal for you guys. So, you know, ha nine times out of ten, a brewer's not going to watch these videos anyway. But if they were, they're not going to sit through a whole mystery beer. Anyway, brewed with milk sugar, peanut flour, and milk chocolate, and Nutty Buddy Bars. Oh, some of my favorite ice creams as a child. And last but not least, another Weldworks. Someone either traded in Colorado or took a trip. And this is their Like a Glove. <laughs> I can't do the Jim Carrey thing. And it's a Hazy Double India Pale Ale. Brewed with Mosaic and Michigan Copper Hops. Okay. You don't see co I was going to say you don't see Copper Hops a lot. But they seem to be coming back in the vogue as of late. So that's kind of cool. Look at that. Sweet little haul. Courtesy of my boy Othello. Uh, let's see what the uh, note has to offer now that we don't want any kind of uh, tipster stuff going on. Anyway. Hopefully I can read this all on camera. And he's going to give me props for it. But now you know the drill. I travel somewhere, get beer, bring said beer back to Florida, then ship it to you. Two weeks ago, I went to Denver to watch my beloved Jags beat up on the Broncos and visit some breweries. I've always wanted to try, like Weldworks and True, beer and metal. Oh, yes, please. I pr uh, prepared diligently, um, even buying a beer can shipper from Whale Pods padded with foam, which I highly recommend, by the way, to bring the babies back safely. Um, I've gotten one shipment of beer from a whale pod and it was actually a recent kind of homebrew uh dudes from tnn kind of time and materials um it's a homebrew just trying to make a make good and they sent it and it was a really nice package so there you go a little plug for them even though i've only used them once um as it goes i brought more beer than i could fit in a shipper uh that went in my suitcase so i had to mail the rest back once home i combined some of the cans in the shipper and the beer from a box i shipped to myself from denver into a behemoth box and shoot it up for your up to your way yeah words um but this is with heavy heart that I report the absolute mourns that UPS have lost a box full of true cerebral and 750 milliliters of 13.5% barrel aged old ale called Ship of Thesis. UPS, I hate your guts. You're talking about a 13.5% barrel aged old ale. That's like literally what I love in life. Um, not that I would have got. I've gotten any um, that I never even got to try. All my clothes, shoes, etc. About eight hundred and fifty dollars and all. Oh my god, they lost all that shit, dude. Oh, it was never even scanned in their system, even though I hand delivered it to their employee store. So here's the pay uh, praying this box makes it to you. Um, but I digress. As a result of my own anger, uh, let's talk about the important stuff: beer, and specifically the beer in front of you. Now, I put in now there. He didn't put that there. I put that there for fun, for a fact, because that's what I do. Uh, the majority of the purchasing occurred at Weldworks. You can see that. I always go through your reviews before I send you stuff to make sure you're not duplicating. Uh, you missed the mystery beer. And um, <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Not duplicating. I'm glad you didn't because I saw you've done juicy bits. Um, I remember you saying something about you wishing it were lower on ABV for the flavor profile impact. So I grabbed the itsy bits. Thank you very much for you to try on for size plus a juicy bits variants and some other treats. I was thoroughly impressed by their dark beers. Enjoy the uh, rev stouts. Here's to uh, betting you mentioned something about the bottle format while unboxing. Kudos to you, Mr. Predictable right here. Including two more sours from them, free to try. Maybe a redemption, maybe not. And that's the thing. It's not that the other one was bad. Um, it just had a huge sulfur thing in the nose. And when you're talking about doing these kind of new kind of Berliners and really trying to pump them out, especially pastry style, sometimes it can go a little miss. New brewery, trying new things. I don't mind that. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't for me. We'll see what the new ones have to offer. Um, I know you've reviewed Southern Swell's can in there, but I needed a fourth beer to complete the four pack. So there you go. I thought this patch was great. So just enjoy that guy off camera. I might review it just for shits and giggles from there. And lastly, I've actually only tried a few of the beers in there. I'm doing a no beer for the month thing because torturing yourself is fun, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so if any of these suck, I cannot help be personally responsible. Cheers. Carson. Thank you very much, brother. This is an epic beer mail. Um, see, one more beer in this whole arch would look so beautiful.
why you just had to fuck it up, didn't you? Uh, but seriously, thanks very much, brother. This is going to be really fun. I'm really going to enjoy more of the Rev. Um, diving into a lot of Weld Works I have not had, even though, you know, Mystery Beer here and stuff like that. And some of this Barrel Aid stuff that I had before from Rev, it was really fucking cool. So I appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much. Uh, it's super cool of you to share your spoils while uh, plundering um, the area. And I can't, can't believe you're a Jaguars fan. That's so weird. Um, I'm a Dolphins fan, by the way, so I can't even say shit. But anyway. Thank you very much, brother. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Hopefully you enjoy me chugging all these suckers over the course of time. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.